Redditors who had a gunshot wound, how did it happen and how does it feel? Accidentally shot by a relative who was handling a gun they thought was unloaded. Enter lower left abdomen. Immediately hurt but got worse over the next 25 minutes till they got me to the hospital. Passed out as they wheeled me in. Wound up needing partial bowel resection and appendectomy and 6 days in the hospital. Now dealing with an enterocutaneous fistula and abscess. 0 stroke 10 do not recommend. The first rule of gun safety. There is no such thing as an unloaded gun. It doesn't hurt as much, at first, as movies portray. The second it happens, it feels like you got a quick injection. It slowly hurts more over time. Horribly. It was a result of dumb gang violence when I was younger. My dad was shot during the Gulf War, and he told me that it felt like being jabbed with a cigarette butt. He said it felt sharp and hot. Lots of stories have compared it to being burned by a cigarette. I'm just gonna trust your dad on this one. Some guys were trespassing, shooting ducks on our property when I was 14. I was chasing our pet calf around and thought I heard voices and went for a look. Saw the guys and turned to leave because I didn't care. People got to eat you. One of them turned and fired towards me based on movement. Got my left shoulder and top of my back and neck from behind. I was wearing a swandry, a thick woolen farm coat thing, and it took most of the impact as it got reeked. Felt like lots of bee stings that didn't stop stinging, then cold and aching. I walked back to the house and didn't really get what had happened. Getting patched up hurt more because of the digging around for wool fibers in the holes. It was a negligent discharge from a friend that found its way into my back. Left me paralyzed as it hit my T12 vertebrae. I first fell straight back down to the ground and didn't feel anything but then I felt extreme pain in my lower back than the feeling of a hot liquid running down me. All I could do was tell and swear and grasp on to anyone that was near me. Obviously it was the worst pain anyone could imagine and I never again want to feel that. For everyone wondering it was a .22 bullet that hit my T12 vertebrae. It missed my spinal cord but the impact caused paralysis anyways. Because of that my recovery has been well and I am able to move everything but my left calf and foot. I'm walking on crutches but still use my chair by often. Also yes I am still friends with my friend and we have gone shooting together since. Well, wearing a vest, it hurt significantly more right off the bat. The plus side being that it was a 9mm and was stopped from going on a joyride to the lung cafe. The other hit was a thigh wound that missed my femoral by a solid inch. It did. However, hit the femur, giving me a decent fracture. Felt like a bee sting for a second, then my leg hurt like heck. I was still able to support myself and return fire, which was the scariest thing I've ever experienced. My recommendation, if you're going to get in a gunfight, don't. Our never broke a bone would like to have a word with you. Accident on someone else's part. 0 .40 Smith and Wesson Gold. Dot hollow point into my upper chest. Out, back in my bicep and out the back. Same bullet, zero expansion and luckily didn't hit any bone. I've felt worse pain. The burning sensation was the most intense part. Four years ago, you can still touch my arm and feel the bullets pass through the muscle. I feel like you're super lucky being hit in the chest at close range by a .40 S&W and surviving. I was walking home from a movie and got hit in the thigh. It felt something like being stabbed with a burn. I was lucky that it was really only a graze. No entry. I sat on the ground for a few minutes, then limped the rest of the way home, and bandaged up. It felt better after a few days. But, why were you shot? A friend of mine crap himself in the face accidentally with his mom's .22 pistol. He said it hurt eventually but he doesn't really remember the pain right off the bat as he thinks shock panic took over the pain. When I was 15 I dropped an old .22 LR revolver out in the woods, 70s model without a hammer block, and it landed on the ground facing upwards and discharged into my leg. I didn't even realize I had been shot at first as it hit a nerve and my leg immediately went numb. I thought I had gotten lucky because I thought it missed me. Then I pulled my pants leg up and saw blood. It went in just above my knee and ended up somewhere in my butt cheek. Doctors said it narrowly missed my femoral artery and the hollow point bullet didn't expand, so they left it in there, gave me some antibiotics and sent me home. 
Turns out I was lucky after all as it traveled over 18 inches through my leg without doing any lasting damage. My leg was numb for about 2 weeks but has been fine ever since. That was 20 plus years ago. Since then I have taken gun safety very seriously. Got robbed on a bus when I was in college. Thief caught me sleeping so when he started pulling my laptop bag, I resisted. But the guy started shooting at the floor trying to scare me, which didn't happen cause I was convinced it was a fake gun. Then, one, two, three shots, two on the right leg and one on the left. I felt nothing, at least nothing I can remember. Finally, my bag handle broke. He took the bag and ran away. I followed him, jumped on him from behind and we both rolled on the curb. He got up first and got into a car that was waiting for him. I came back to the bus, knocked the door and got back to my seat, crying. One of the passengers was a nurse. She took whatever she could find and used it as a tourniquet. I was taken to the hospital in the same bus where everything happened. Luckily, the shot on the left leg was just a couple millimeters away from the artery, otherwise I'd have died in less than 4 minutes. After the incident I was on medication for months to prevent clots, the heat of the bullet did damage the artery to the blood flow was affected. Also, one of the bullets broke my fibula which required surgery. Recovery took about 8 months into the date. 13 years later, it still hurts sometimes when it's cold and humid. I had 3 gunshot wounds from a shooting at my middle school. One in the leg and two in the abdomen. If we are honest the one in the leg hurt most. In the leg it burns and gets worse over time. It isn't the initial impact but the after effect before you get painkillers is the worst. In the abdomen the pain spreads and feels throbby. The initial impact hurts more on this one. I hope you are doing well now. Long time ago. 1969. Rabbit hunting with a .410. Alone. 21 years old. Walking through tall grass woods area chasing rabbit. Overconfident. Safety off. Tripped over a small log buried in the grass. Gun goes off. Foot felt like it was hit with a big hammer. Looked at it. Hole in the boot. Smoking. Panic. One stroke 4 mile from house. 35 miles from hospital. Got up. Hobbled to a farmhouse. They called ambulance. Took my boot off and gunpowder had cauterized wound. Finally got to hospital. Hole in the top of my foot about size of a dime. Hole in the bottom about size of a half dollar with muscle hanging out. Fixed me up. Lots of pain after. Got infected. Looked bad for a while. But drugs did the trick. Ended up with one toe with no bone sewed together with toe alongside. Still have a few pieces of buckshot in my foot that will be there when I die. Still can hurt on some days. But once the infection was was cleared up no real problems. Normally it's the rabbit foot that's considered lucky. I got a .22 bullet in the quad muscle. It felt hot. Got it taken out and it just felt like a bruise for a few weeks. I don't know how it happened. It hurt like heck. My vision narrowed so much that it looked like I was looking through straws. I thought that saying wasn't serious until that. I got hit after a ricochet, and it got stuck under the skin of my index finger. That was over 30 years ago, and I'm still trying to get it removed since it hurts when I lift weights. The GPs I've talked to say I need to see a hand surgeon. But the hand surgeon I went to said it was too easy to remove for him since it's just below the skin so said he has better uses for his time. Sucks to be in pain and have money so I can afford the help but to not get it. WTF get a new hand surgeon. Once had a patient screamer that hurts more than shooting myself. When moving him to operating room bed. Crazy sauce. But I can't imagine the pain. It's so much slower than in movies and TV. Thank you for everyone's responses. I find it interesting. Burns like heck from what I remember. I passed out shortly after so I can't comment too much on it. Recovery was a B but I got to keep my leg. When I was a first year medical student I was super broke. I lived in a cheap rent apartment. I got shot in a gang initiation drive by shooting. Wrong place wrong time. I got hit in my left shoulder arm and neck. It happened so fast I didn't think it was real until I saw the blood. I even tried to convince myself maybe it was a paintball gun for a couple seconds because I thought there was no way I just got shot randomly walking down the street. Initially felt like someone slapped me on the shoulder after a bad sunburn. I reached up and felt the wetness of the blood. 
I remember jumping to safety behind a bush and starting running away scared I was going to be shot at again. Didn't feel anything until I got to the hospital. That's when it started to hurt. Had pain for a couple days. Felt like my whole arm was heavy for a few weeks and pain only with movement. Pain pretty much resolved after a couple months. Had some hypersensitive anxious moments and scary dreams for about 6 months after. Now realize was classic PTSD. All better now. I like how you rationalize this to being paintball paint. I would think to myself, in such a neighborhood, maybe it's friendly neighborhood tag. Glad you're okay. Technically, I've encountered bullets twice in my life, but I'm still a fee on whether or not either one counts as being shot. The first time, I was young, like maybe 7 yo, and it was a ricochet from a small rifle round off pavement, something around a .22 caliber I think. It wasn't buckshot, but the slug broke apart on impact and I only received part of the round so it was small. It bounced up off the ground and lodged in my back muscle, about an inch and a half from my spinal column. It was a neighbor kid, might have been 9 yo, showing off his new hunting rifle to his friends and he accidentally discharged the gun because he didn't know how to unload it properly. His mom didn't know he knew how to get into the gun safe and his dad wasn't home. So they didn't even know to be worried about him playing with it, but he desperately wanted to show it off. I was playing with his little sister on the other side of some bushes in the yard. At first I thought I had been stung by a red hornet, then it ached, for weeks. Looking back on it now, it's totally nuts to think about, but we didn't tell any adults for years. We just got the first aid kit from another neighbor kid's garage, cleaned me up, made up a story about falling on some barbed wire and getting cuts. And I stayed out of the sprinklers for the rest of the summer so I wouldn't need help with it. I think my parents didn't find out about it until I was 20. Because I had injured my spine and was having surgery. And it came up on the x-rays prior to surgery. The second time, I was pinned down in a park while two gang members exchanged fire. And one of their bullets grazed my thigh muscle. Wrong place. Wrong time. I knew the feeling by then. So it wasn't super shocking. But scary nonetheless. Probably the scariest thing I've ever been through. Hiding in a jungle gym with two younger kids, trying to keep them from being a distraction. As far as I know, I was the only casualty that day, but I wasn't paying much attention to the gang members. I was more focused on the bystanders. When it was all over, the EMTs showed up with the cops. I got a couple glue stitches and a guaz wrap, and on my way I went. I don't remember the pain the second time. Just a vague memory of a burning flesh sensation. Like if somebody had stuck a lit cigarette to my leg. But I'm pretty sure that's mostly because of adrenaline. Again, it ached for a while after. A couple of weeks at least. I have a handful of scars. But these are both pretty faded. Still a fun story or two for a pretty nondescript middle class middle American housewife looking lady to tell when somebody notices them at the neighborhood pool. Lol. As a Canadian, I am horrified. Why was a 9 year old playing with a gun without adult supervision? Onk. I have no memory of it other than second hand information. I was waiting at a bus stop with my girlfriend when I got struck by a stray bullet in my right shoulder. After entering my body it shattered across my torso messing up my spinal cord, leaving me paralyzed as a result. I've had ricochets hit me a few times. Once a 9mm round bounced its way back into my face and busted my lip tooth pretty good. Another time a .38 came back and hit my chest with what felt like the force of a dang truck. Got bruised up good from that one. Got some others I can think of later. I was a very stupid and reckless young man. My uncle put it best. It's like getting kicked in the balls, but in the legs and arms. Short once in Iraq. Hot, hot as heck. Feels like someone branded you with a hot iron. It happens so fast you wonder where the blood is coming from. You think to yourself this can't be my blood. Right luckily my injury was just meat no bone or organs. That was about 15 years ago. I don't think about it often as it feels like a lifetime ago. I was trying to stop someone I knew from committing suicide and I ended up getting shot through the knee. I had no idea it had happened. I didn't feel it at all. Till I tried to put my foot down. That's when the pain started. So when a bullet hits a hard object, it doesn't always go through entirely. So when I was shooting with my family, a bullet deflected and hit me in the shin. 
It didn't hurt as bad as I though but it did hurt like heck. Got a skid mark from some kind of 7.62 on my shoulder in Afghanistan. Felt like I got hit with a small rock at first, then burning for an hour or three. The wound was about an inch and a half long and maybe 3 stroke 8 wide. Had a softball sized bruise for about a week and saw. 0 stroke 10 would not do again. I was serving in the army and running away from gunfire when it just jumped up and bit me right in the buttocks. They said it was a million dollar wound, but the army must keep that money cause I still haven't seen a nickel of that million dollars. The only good part was all the ice cream they fed me. Lieutenant Dan, I got your ice cream. I didn't feel a hit, but I did feel it exit. I heard an explosion and my back was instantly on fire, like someone had taken a blowtorch and held it to my back. I had my rifle slung over my shoulder and a pistol on my hip, so immediately I assumed that my gun had gone off, it took a second to register that it was not my gun. High powered hunting rounds are designed to mushroom and expand as they travel through an animal, so it made sense that the entrance was small and most of the damage externally was the exit. I was out hunting and the 15 year old with me disregarded instructions that we were done for the day, and to unload the rifle. I had walked back to get a trail cam and he looked up saw movement, and foolishly fired thinking I was a feral hog. We had seen a group earlier that day and he was very excited about shooting them if we got the chance. Poor awareness and a 15 year old excitable brain making a snap decision without taking the time to think. It's not the like the movies. I didn't fly back 10 feet, or even fall down. I stayed conscious the entire time and was able to get into my truck and have someone drive me the 15 minutes into town to the hospital. I sure wasn't waiting on an ambulance to get out to the farmland and waste time trying to find my exact location. Oh man I bet that kid felt so bad. I would have a hard time mentally recovering from that. Didn't really feel anything at first. Just thought like if someone flicked you with their finger. Then it starts to burn. Frick does IT burn. I was shot in the face with a 9mm, 10 inches from my face when my roommate decided to play with his gun while aiming at my head, but I felt literally nothing, I was unable to move, so my chin was at my chest, and I could look around, I could hear everything going on around me, but I couldn't will myself to move, my ears rang, I could see the blood run down my chest and I was fascinated by what was going on, still trying to figure everything out. A neighbor barged into the house yelling what happened and said he called the police. My roommate screamed that he shot me. He was freaking out. But I stayed calm for some reason. My thoughts were simply oh, okay, that's what happened. That makes sense. I seen him holding the gun earlier I remember thinking this is how I was going to die. I was okay with that. I was just sad that it was likely that my family would just find out on the news. Looking back. I'm guessing adrenaline kicked into overdrive the moment the bullet pierced my skin. It seemed to be so fast that I didn't even hear the gun go off. My body just reacted. Ears ringing. The thing that blows my mind the most is just calmness I was feeling. I was so at peace with dying. So accepting. Not me, but my boyfriend. He was camping with his cousin and one of his friends and out of nowhere for no reason got shot with a 12 gauge double alt buck. He said he didn't feel anything and his leg went numb. Yes, he can still walk. Got a .40 through my hand and into my stomach during a mugging. Shooter was already leaving. A block away and turned back to shoot at me and a friend. I had my hand up in a what do we do now pose and the bullet entered my hand from the outside. Hit the bone and the tendons. Got redirected down and entered my stomach in an angle. It shattered the bone in my hand, which was a good thing. It was going straight for my heart but instead it went to my stomach in a diagonal angle and stayed in the fat. Felt no pain because adrenaline was so high. Heard the pop and my hand started vibrating from it hitting the bone. Then I ran for my life because they kept shooting. Didn't even notice it was a real gunshot until much later. Back in 2010, the summer before my senior year in high school, a friend of mine accidentally shot me shot me in the hip. My experience was nothing. As soon as it hit me I was out. After recovery I was able to recall very few details. But it felt like I was remembering them from a movie. Only thing I do remember is the noise of the gun. The smell of gunpowder. A slight pressure in my side. And somehow knowing I got shot. 
I had taken medical classes prior to this happening so I remember going to put pressure on it and everything going white. All the while feeling the most peace I have ever felt. Most of the pain came afterward. Recovery was a B. The bullet severed my iliac artery, my nerve bundle to my right leg, and ruptured my bowels. I had no use of my leg for about 6 months and once I could move it the atrophy and pain was so bad I couldn't walk unassisted for over a year. During the whole time I went through 8-12 different types of painkillers cause my body kept getting used to them. Please practice safe gun use ladies and gentlemen. Guns are amazing tools and can be used to for fun. Just don't be stupid and make sure you know your gun safety. That's all I have if I made a typo. I apologize. I normally lurk but this question was something I felt like posting a comment on. I got hit in the arm. I was fortunate it was minor but it's been more than a decade and I still can't believe how unbelievably hot it was. Initially it wasn't bad but as minutes passed, it felt like someone was holding a flame up to my arm. Lost an index finger due to a 9mm round through my first knuckle. Initial pain was more of a burn. The second surgery where they shaved the bone down was as bad if not worse than my kidney stone. Had to have a nerve blocker injected into my armpit immediately after coming to. I don't even notice now. 14 years later, and most people don't either. However, they attached the nerves from the finger into the palm of my hand and when it itches it is a B. I still always feel the finger resting on things and such. R1. Here, I was shot by a poorly loaded flintlock pistol. No ball. Just powder and wadding. Someone loaded a pistol with the wrong grade of gunpowder. Aimed it at me. This was an unrehearsed open air stage fight. Very stupid of me. And shot. It felt like a hundred bee stings at once. On my chest. Note, like an idiot. I was not wearing a shirt. I flew onto my back. I got up. Looked down at my chest to see a dozens of little red dots where the powder bits entered. And B. I was smoking. For a brief second. I thought I was on fire. I panicked. Ran straight for the showers. And washed down. It was a miracle that none of that powder hit me in the eyes, but one piece of powder landed about an inch under my left eye. After getting looked at by the EMTs, they said I would be okay. The powder was eventually absorbed into my body, and I had black powder burn tattoos on my shoulder for a while before they faded. Lesson to be learned. Here, never get into an unrehearsed fight with black powder pistols unless you are supervised by a trained stuntman. I'm lucky I'm not permanently blind. From a friend who's been shot in the knee. You don't really feel pain at first. You hear the shot and feel something hit you. Hard, like knock you back hard. When you realize what happened, then the pain starts. It burns like something I've never felt before. And the long term side effects are possibly worse. Had to get some donor cartilage put in and the weather makes it ache now. I was at a friend's tattoo shop. Two teenagers walked in and shot at us. I saw that two people were hit. As we all scrambled to hide, I felt what seemed like water running down my back. It must have been the adrenaline because I didn't feel any pain. I reached back to see what was running down my back. It was blood. A lot of it. I had been shot twice and didn't even know it until some seconds later. Once I saw the blood, panic set in. One was a flesh wound. The second missed my spine by a hair. It was so close to my spine. But when doctor showed me the x-ray, it looked like it hit it. I remember the doctors having a worried look on their faces the whole time. But I kept telling them that my legs felt great. Obviously it hadn't hit my spine because I was still able to walk I told them. I didn't feel any pain until a few days later. Well it didn't really hurt it felt like getting hit with a flashbang straight out of Call of Duty and the adrenaline kicked in I couldn't call for help because my mouth was destroyed my neighbors found me and drove me to the hospital pretty quick. And they gave me morphine before the pain set in. I'm not really sure how I missed and I'm not happy I survived but here I am. If you feel alone like the world is ashamed of you and you have no one to turn to get some help call the suicide crisis hotline call your family they love you and miss you no matter how far you fall from grace they aren't ashamed of you and you shouldn't be either don't let hate pull you and no matter how bleak your situation there's always an opportunity to get out you just have to seize it and dig yourself out of whatever hole you're in. If you think someone you love is struggling call them it might just save their life. 
I didn't get hit but about 20 years ago I heard what sounded like huge insects buzzing past me every second or two. No flies or wasps in winter I thought. Then a window smashed behind me. I knew I was being shot at and used parked cars as cover and half crouching I ran home. This was in a residential area in the UK. The shots were coming from a park across the street. I'd like to think it was an air rifle but I've owned one since and the insects were very loud. My brother got mad at me and shot me with a .22 once. Not a big deal. It burned like heck but healed okay. My youth pastor was friends with one of his small town's cops. The cop offered to shoot him and his friends with a gun while they're wearing bulletproof vests. He noped. I took 3 PKM rounds in a close ambush in northeast Afghanistan. One to my dominant hand and one in each thigh. It's not any more painful than listening to my president's daily speech. This was 4 years ago when I was 25 yo I was working at the bank and we got robbed. While I was calling 9, 1, 1 and I got shot in my other hand with the gun. It hurt like heck but the worst part I broke my phone and forgot that special link. Above my waist, kind of on my side, right above my kidney bone. Kidney bone. It was a ricochet when I was at the shooting range. It felt like getting kicked in the chest. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.